Okay. We are on. Yeah. We were in the car again on the way back from, well, a trip to Disney and a trip to Universal. Uh, on this show, we're going to talk about Universal. So, welcome to UniversalStore.com. I don't think I ever say that. I always let that British lady say it. Anyway, uh, okay, so wanted to just go through a few things. We're not going to spend a lot of time on this. Uh, let's see here. This weekend, we had hoped there was going to be soft opening for Fast and Furious, and there was not. Uh, I think that I've heard some little things about their stuff running around it and stuff like that, but yeah, uh, even though this is March the 21st or 22nd, I don't know, something like that, uh, they have not started even a soft opening yet. So. Um, they did do team member previews, though. So just they, yesterday or two days ago. So they have had the ride running? Yes. Wow. Then they really got to get something going for at least... It'd be great if they do one for annual pass holders first. So, um, anyway, we're anxious to get to that. Um, what did open, though, today... Uh, actually opened yesterday. Part-time yesterday, and I think it's been open pretty much all day today. We just got there... After an hour-long wait in line, we have feasted on Voodoo Donuts. It just opened at City Walk. And in case you're not really familiar with City Walk, that's kind of like, that is uh, Universal's downtown, or I'm sorry, Disney Springs, or downtown Disney if you're in California. Um, let's see here. Uh, so you don't have to pay to get in to get to Voodoo Donuts. You'll have to pay to eat the donuts. So we'll get through that here in just a little bit. So we have, uh, let's see, we actually got a dozen, and then we got a Texas donut, which is a large, oh, kind of like if you looked at the big pink in, uh, in Lord Lad. Except it's just for, glazed. Yeah, except for this, is, yeah, this is an ice, it's just glazed. Uh, that donut itself was $9.95. The last time I had something like that was at Round Rock Donuts in Texas, right near Austin, between Austin and Pflugerville, Texas those I've been in the news lately I'll let you think whatever you want about that the best donuts I've ever had in my life were from Round Rock Donuts in uh, in Texas these though uh, so I that's really where I was setting the bar when we got these so we actually got quite a few different of their specialty donuts um, the one that I just ate it's 525 for the donut it's called the Memphis Mafia it actually has slices of banana, has peanut butter, it has chocolate drizzled over it, uh, and I think some peanuts on it. And I think that's pretty much it that's in it. I'll be putting a picture up if you're looking at the video and not listening to just the audio of this. And you, you can see uh, what's in each donut. We did not buy every donut that's on the menu, um, but we did buy quite a few. So we'll go through those. So Mafia, Mem Memphis Mafia, I just went through. Connor just had the... Uh, let me just go into the, port, uh, the Memphis Mafia. I'm sorry. I basically, I just ate this donut, and I'm in, we're on the highway, and I feel like I'm in a sugar coma <laughs> right now. The donut was absolutely delicious, um, but at the same time, you could split it easily with another person. It's just one donut, and I think most people are going to find it to be really good. Really May good. I mention he did not split it? <laughs> no, I did not split it. I ate the thing all the way. From the parking garage to uh, I-4, I ate that donut. <laughs> and so my stomach is churning right now, and my head is kind of spinning, which isn't real good since I'm driving, but we'll be fine. Uh, anyway, so that, that donut was very good, 525. You can split it with somebody. There's plenty of donut there for two people. You got the Portland I got the cream. Yeah, Portland cream donut. It's a um, just your standard Bavarian cream with a uh, chocolate icing on top and two little... Um, icing eyeballs um it was it was good i don't think it was as good as yours um because it is just your standard kind of bavarian cream um but still a good donut worth getting i think okay and that donut was i don't remember right off hand we'll look it up i'll put it in here uh i want to say it was like dollar 95 yeah because it was just one of the regular ones yeah non, uh, non so premium. if you want exact prices look at the video of this if you get a chance and I'll make sure exact prices get put into the video okay so we all also got then the voodoo doll donut which was three something 325 I think that's kind of their signature signature donut and 
that's chocolate with raspberry on the inside, correct? Yes. And then it has a weird a pretzel, pretzel stick through pretzel it. Pretzel stick stuck through it. It's a voodoo doll. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, never even thought about that too much. Like, it's probably all the sugar anyway. It is um, actually called the Voodoo Doll Donut. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. Do you remember another one that we got? Uh, uh, apple fritter, which is your standard, a standard, oil, standard apple fritter. Uh, I haven't eaten it yet, obviously. Uh, maybe we'll do we'll do a bigger review. There's no way. It's going to take me a couple days or more <laughs> for us to even take a bite from each one of these. There was one that was inter- or a couple that were interesting. Um, one that we got was a mango tango. It has tang in it. Tang, yeah. The, uh, the case for anybody who doesn't remember that, that was actually an orange drink, a synthetic orange drink made that the astronauts used to drink when they went to the moon and did their uh, missions in the 70s. So, yes, I'm that old, so I remember tang. Well, I know what tang is, so you're not too old. So, if I, yeah, I'll find a picture of the old tang, stick that up in the video. Uh, let's see here. Anything else? Another. There's a lot of donuts here. Uh, uh, cinnamon. No, never oh. mind. They didn't have cinnamon sugar. Yeah, they did not. This oh. place too was slammed with them just being open, and they're doing a good job of just getting you in and out. But it's taking some time. It was about an hour wait for us. Yeah. So okay. Uh, do you remember any others? Do you want to open the? Um, hang on here. Well, no, no. Let's not do this. Well, I'm gonna uh, put this in the. I'll uh, put this in the back seat. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. All right. Now. Hopefully Connor can open the top. Yes. Oh, okay. So we had a. Um, it's oh, uh, chocolate, chocolate with coconut. coconut. Yeah, yeah, chocolate coconut one. Um, let's see here. There's the apple fritter and the tang. Oh, one called Oh Captain, my Captain. It's um. Captain uh, Crunch. Yeah, it's a vanilla, vanilla cream donut with Captain Crunch. Um. Having a hard time seeing. Oh, uh, and then I think we got a glazed donut, and I can't really see the rest. Yeah, we did get a glazed. So. Yeah, so I think that's it. I think we okay. covered them. All right, so we got those, that dozen, which had specialties in there, so some of those are really expensive. Like I said, the Memphis Mafia, probably meant for two, five twenty-five for each donut. Uh, all together, I think, and I used annual pass holder discount, I think I had $44 into the donuts, which is expensive. But I'm not going in there and ordering a dozen donuts all the time. This was a one-time deal. This is so most definitely meant to be a specialty donut place. Yeah. And this is a one-time deal that, you know, like I said, we'll order this dozen one time. And then probably after this, stop in on our way, you know, to grab something maybe for breakfast, a donut for breakfast as we head into the parks. Uh, but I think the, the staff in there was really nice. And for the amount of work that they were having to do and how long their day had to be, they were very careful on what they were doing. The quality of their donuts has stayed up. So it's not like, you know, they're baking faster and the quality is falling off already. So right now, very good donuts. Worth the money to at least go in and try them out. Um, All right. Anything else going on with uh, Universal we can think of? Uh... Well, I, I can go into it more later. I want to do an annual pass show again later because comparatively, I'll give you this. Uh, normally, I think the price of our donuts is going to be maybe 46 or yeah, 48 maybe, but I got an annual pass discount. Something that if you go to Disney a lot, you're not used to. Uh, getting an annual pass discount on food just anywhere you go. Usually, if you want to get a broad array of restaurants and stuff that you can get annual pass discount. You have to pay for um, Tables in Wonderland, which is another, I think, $125. But uh, you don't have to do that, obviously, at Universal. And every restaurant we've been into, they we always get a decent discount in there. And so I'm really appreciative of that. Uh, but I really do want to do a show to show you the comparisons on even, uh, once again, on the amount of money that you can get off hotel rooms, which i got to do some more research in that. It used to be very easy to go onto Universal's website and look uh, up the hotel room you wanted, and then in the promotion box, you could type in all in caps, APH, annual pass holder, and it would add in an annual pass holder discount if there was one. It would add one in. 
so far I have not found where that works that I can't find the box on the website. No, I believe you're supposed to call them now and they'll give you days that are specific to annual pass holders um, with discounts, but outside of those days you can't. There's it's, nothing you can do. So our plan really is, is I want to book uh, the Aventura, a room in the Aventura. It opens August 18th, so I want to be able to stay there. We just got some other stuff in the hopper that we're trying to plan. And so I want to make sure that we're even going to be in town around that day. Uh, anyway, if, but I can book and cancel, I think, 45 days out if that's what it comes down to. So we are considering that. What's going on? Well, we ate at uh, Hard Rock. Oh, Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah, so we ate at Hard Rock. Um, I guess if I can remember it all, we'll do the review. I remember what I got. I got a uh, Jumbo Combo sampler platter. Um, it had an absolute ton of food in it. It was $22, which, I, I mean, at first I thought that was really expensive for a sampler platter. But my goodness, the amount of food that they put into it made it, I think, beyond worth that. Yeah, so you got, let's see if we can remember some of it. Breaded chicken, a couple, two or three of those on there. Yes. Pretty decent you know, sizes. Uh, um, we got like, uh, you got the tacos, like little yeah. uh, they're, southwestern well, tacos. They were like spring rolls. Spring rolls, okay. kind of. But yeah, they were rolled in something thicker than a spring roll wrapper. So there were four of those, and then um, six. Six onion rings. Which were large onion rings. Um, I think four or five uh, buffalo wings. And then, um, I don't know, what was the last thing? Oh, uh, the bruschetta. Yes, three uh, bruschetta rolls. Or, so that uh, was uh, 22 bucks for that. And uh, I think you thought everything on it was really good, right? Yeah, it was Yeah, it was a delicious platter. And yeah, you it's can just easily... That split that platter with two people. You can easily split that platter. You could probably people. split that with three. Yeah. If I'm being honest. Yeah. That was a lot of food. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah. There was stuff on there like we left some onion rings. We left a couple pieces even of the bruschetta. I think there wasn't a lot more. But I didn't. Okay, so I got yet another sandwich, which I cannot remember the name of. No. It had a jalapeno on top of it. I do remember that. It was stuck through the top of it. Yeah. Uh, it was supposed to be a spicy hamburger. I don't know. We'll look that up here. Shoot. That's why I wasn't ready to do the review. It was seventeen ninety five for that burger and fries. Let's just put it that way. Um, if you look in the video, uh, the name of that's going to be in there. There'll be a full review that we do from the Hard Rock on this. And I have a ton of food reviews to put up, guys. So be prepared that once I sit down and start doing these, I have couple more reviews coming out of Toothsome. I have reviews coming out of all kinds of places. They clear back to the uh, nachos at the taco truck. So, yeah, I've got reviews coming from a lot of places. So, sit back and just be ready that those are going to come pouring out here at some point. Uh, I know what else I wanted to bring up again. We talked about it a little bit before. Uh, the sale of Fox over to Disney. This looks like it's going to be a done deal. It's going to take some time for it to happen to where everything transitions over. It's a $60 billion deal. We did see where Comcast was actually, they actually made a, a larger offer. I think, I want to say theirs was $66 billion uh, for the same entity, for no. the same Fox. It actually may have been, I think, 83 comes to mind, 83 okay. million. It was a lot of money, and it was turned down because... They, I guess, Fox didn't think that Comcast was a big enough media enterprise to be able to handle taking over Fox, which is very large. With that sale, this has been talked about in the news, but we're going to just cover it again here quickly. With that sale, they're supposed to get basically everything from Fox except for Fox News and Fox uh, Business. Yes. Correct. And we, I've said this before, but I want to just, I keep reminding myself of it. That includes The Simpsons. And so if you take into account that they've already lost Marvel and the merchandising from Marvel to, to Disney. They still have Marvel Superhero Land, but there's always a battle going on with rights, especially east of the Mississippi. There's always a battle going on. But I do know that a large portion of the merchandising that they sell in Marvel Superhero Land, in uh, Islands of Adventure, 
goes to Disney. That can't go on. They just can't keep giving money away to Disney and keep that as a viable entity. Um, and Disney is beginning now to, well, they're pushing the envelope on that by building the Guardians coaster or whatever it's going to be in Epcot. So that's east of the Mississippi. They're already pushing the boundaries on that. They just announced that they're building a Marvel themed land in Disneyland and I think there's three parts. in Japan in Tokyo Disneyland, Disneyland in California, and I want to say Hong Kong Disneyland, or it might be Shanghai, one or the other. So there's three places that they're going to add in the Marvel products to. Um, that, I just continue to think that can't go on. And so I'm curious to see what happens, especially now that uh, that Universal just put money into expanding the Simpsons land in uh, Universal Ho uh, Hollywood just maybe two or three years ago. And once again, Disney could step in and take all of their merchandising. Uh, so there's got to be, if you look now at where they had said Nintendo Land, which is still on the board for them to do. If you look at where they said Nintendo Land was going to go, it backs right up to, right in behind uh, the Simpsons Springfield Land in Florida, in the Orlando Resort. And if they lose the control of Simpsons, I can't imagine, there's a ton of merchandising out of that Simpsons area. I can't imagine that they're going to want to keep selling that and just turning over all those dollars to Disney. Uh, it's gonna hurt though because they just they just invested all that money into it and so what do you do at this point but there's a chance that maybe they expand Nintendo Land out to the water or they do something else obviously they have to do something else there I said to Connor I thought it would be cool if they took it back and made it the uh, Back to the Future attraction again where Simpsons ride is at but actually updated it even to uh, cars, the ride, everything, even if you have to do it all together differently. And then make the street that runs through there, the main street in the first Back to the Future with the clock tower and all that. Probably not gonna happen because it's an old uh, uh, property now that's not gonna be updated according to Zemeckis, Robert Zemeckis, correct? Yeah, he's um, he's like absolutely, um Opposed. opposed to it yeah he's gone as far as to write I think like uh, pieces even into his will saying that uh, it's not not to be used in any way shape or form right I forget exactly how he's worded it but yeah he's made sure that it will not be used ever again after his death okay so they've got that going on which could be slowing down what the heck their announcements are going to be the next thing that's causing could very well be causing a slowdown in their announcements is they bought 475 acres, and then they turned around and bought another, I think, I want to say 106 acres. Not too far from the park, over by SeaWorld. This has been discussed in the news. But now that acreage has been brought into question from the person or the group that they brought, bought it from. And that group is saying that they did not sell it with the idea of having theme park attractions put on it wasn't it something like that yeah it was because universal bought it through a um, a different name through I mean, what do they call those the yeah, company like a, a ghost company yes um so they bought it through a ghost company and didn't disclose that you know who they were through that so it uh, angered the uh, the land uh, owner and so that is actually in court right now good chance that they win that and they move on but you can't really start developing that land when you have a court case or, you know, going on. And their attorneys, I'm sure, are telling them you can't develop the land until you know, you know, that you win the case free and clear. Hopefully this doesn't get wrapped up in court for the next 10 years. So that's another problem that could be, they could be presented with right now because obviously they didn't go out and spend 70 to 80, some to almost a hundred million dollars on that property to, to be able to do nothing with it. So I'm sure they had ideas at the time. One of those ideas I still think to this day was to start out with a potter land over there and putting probably Fantastic Beasts. So then you know, you're, they use that as the anchor to get you to come to all three parks. Uh, okay, I, I, 
that's about as much as I can think of, and I know we've covered that before, but I just wanted to come back and cover it again. I do promise I'm going to do a uh, annual pass review here at some point. So oh, yeah. we've got somebody who's decided they're stopping in the lane here. <laughs> I do or, have one uh, more thing to add okay. before we uh, we finish. Um, and it's just something small. Universal as um, uh, Ill- Illumination Entertainment, uh, the company that they use to make the Minions movies. Um, they announced that they are partnering uh, partnering with Nintendo for a Mar- Mario movie. So that could be something um, to add into the parks, I guess, whatever comes from that. Well, and then now they I mean, they also have, they have Fantastic Beasts getting ready to release next year, right? 2019? Yeah, but that's not really theirs, like their own property. Yeah, but I mean, if you're, and I'm thinking a theme park, if you want to announce something, the second movie comes out and does well, it's a good time to probably get on board and begin announcing that you're going to build a park, or another land, I should say. Not a park, but a land for it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on with Universal. A lot of question marks and stuff right now going on. Uh, they do have the coaster or whatever it's going to be under construction at the uh, at Universal, no, at Islands of Adventure where Dueling Dragons was at. Still don't have a lot of detail. I hope, I hope that's not just a roller coaster. I hope they actually make it more of an indoor thing. Uh, just building a roller coaster seems like a really cheap way to do something uh, an opportunity to do something that's as high themed as everything else in the Wizarding World parks there so we'll be curious to see what's going on there Uh, other than that I'm sure there's going to be more news come out here pretty soon about things going on Uh, for now we have voodoo donuts too so hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed this we will uh, be back with you again soon If you've listened to the audio and you haven't seen the video, then get out there and check out the video so you can see the pictures of all the stuff that we've talked about. And uh, All right, that's it for now. We'll talk to you again soon.